Hey everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and this coming week we're going to be painting this beautiful monarch butterfly. Uh, make sure you grab your supplies. We have sets available now if you wanted to take a look on our website. We're going to be painting this live Tuesday night, 7.15 Central Standard Time, but for now here's a preview. Okay, so for my butterfly I'm starting by using this um, liquid masking fluid and essentially what that is is glue and when that dries it's just going to protect the white paper underneath it so you can paint over it and um, kind of use it as a barrier between the paint and the paper. So um, I'm going to start by using my amber yellow which is this really pretty almost red orange and then I blend my orange into it and then I end and that little section with a little bit of the golden brown. So we have a nice um, dark to medium to light to dark sections on um, the little sections of our butterfly here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the black part of the bottom part of the butterfly because if I did the black right away after I painted the orange, then it could bleed into each other and we can lose those really thin lines. So I'm gonna do this other section first and fill that out while that orange dries. So then I can go back in and do the black part. So you wanna make sure you kinda of leave some time in between doing these sections to allow these areas to dry. And then that way it just won't be this um, kind of muddy mess. We wanna keep these sections um, their own units. We wanna have those defined lines between um, the little colorful sections and the black se sections of the butterfly. Now I am blending a little bit um, to kind of make an easier transition from the orange to the black. Um, but you can keep those, you can choose to do that or you can um, keep them nice and straight and strong. Now that process of that bright orange to the orange to the golden brown, I'm just going to basically repeat that pattern throughout all of these sections. Now I am going through and I am kind of picking up a little bit of color um, because I, I want to be able to see the paper underneath. I want to keep it a little bit more yellow in some areas. So if ever you feel an area is just getting too thick and too filled with color, you can just lift off some of that um, color with a clean brush and wipe that off. Now I'm going through and doing the black section on the other side and I have found that it actually might be a little bit better if you put in some water first and then you drop in some black. If you do it that way, the black tends to say a really dark color, uh, whereas if you just take the black paint straight onto your butterfly, um, then it actually is more of a gray. So uh, we're gonna finish filling out these black sections and I went through and I did like a, a black wash on the insect part of my butterfly. And then I'm going through and I'm doing a little bit of detail work on the um, body of the butterfly as well. Now I did that while the black part was drying so then by the time I was done with the body, I was able to go back in and start adding the orange because that black was um, a little bit more dry and it wouldn't bleed through. And it's just that same process of um, putting color in, usually the dark first, and then the lighter washes underneath that and blending it together. Now to blend it, you just take your brush and kind of just smear those areas where they meet. I'm going through and I'm just adding a little bit of detail work here on the body of the butterfly. And, um, and now I'm going to start rubbing off my rubber cement. Now you want to make sure that your paint is dry before you attempt to do this or else you're going to start rubbing that black color all over. So make sure your uh, butterfly is dry before you attempt to um, rub that um, masking fluid before you rub that off. Now when that's done, I'm just going to take my um, bleed proof white and just do a little bit of detail work in between, just some highlights on the body. And I just added a little bit of lines around the edge of my butt. And that's it. Just, to, I would maybe say um, sets with the paint and paper, like so they know, like maybe just that, like do everything and we'll see this at 715, I'll just do a set with paint and paper. <laughs> I just don't want to think that there's 